Hi, my name is Father Frankie Mulgrew. What's the best reason for going to Mass? So a number of years ago when Russia was under communist rule, some communist soldiers burst into a Catholic church one Sunday morning, fired their machine guns into the air and said, anybody here not prepared to die for your faith, leave immediately. During the next couple of minutes, there was absolute chaos and bedlam as people tried to scramble out for their lives. Eventually, after a couple of minutes, there was only a quarter of the congregation left. The soldiers went to the back of the church, slammed the door shut, bolted them, and proceeded to walk up the aisle with their machine guns in their hands. They got to the altar, turned and faced congregation with the machine guns, and with tears in their eyes, they put down their guns, and they said, what is it? What have you got? You were willing to die for it. We must have that. What was it that day that if those people had to live without it, they didn't want to live at all? What was going on there? Well, I think it's the best reason ever to go to Mass. In fact, why are Catholics throughout the world, in places like the Middle East and certain parts of Africa and around the world, risking their lives to go to Mass each Sunday? I think it's for the best reason possible. It's this reason. Because they realize at Mass, they have an encounter with God who wants to change the world through you. Think about that. Mass is a divine appointment with the creator of the universe, with the greatest force within and outside the universe. As the Bible expert Scott Horn talks about, when Jesus Christ comes in his second coming, he will not have a drop more glory than what's already contained in Holy Communion at Mass. You know, there's a true story about St. Bonaventure, who was this very clever, wise, uh, saintly, went on to be a doctor of the church. And he's approached by two of his brothers one day and they said, Bonaventure, how can we be so certain? How can we be so certain that Jesus Christ is truly present in Holy Communion at Mass, in the Eucharist at Mass? And this wise guy looked at him and said, because he said he would be. And there was this pause. He looked at them, they looked at him, and they went, is that it? He went, that's it, that's it. Why for Mass? Is it man-made? No. Jesus set it up. Jesus said, do this in memory of me. You know, uh, a few years back, I got a text message from a friend of mine to say his stepdad had been diagnosed with terminal cancer and the hospital had sent him home and said, there's no more we can do for you, we're sorry. And my friend texted me and said, would I pray for him? Well, what an honor, because I knew that this friend wasn't really a churchgoer, but I did pray for his stepdad. Not only that, but I had two holy masses offered up for him. For mass, it's the greatest prayer we can have said for anybody because it's the greatest event we can attend in our lives. And so then I have the two Holy Masses offered up and then I text him, I sent him a text message and said, how's your stepdad doing? He got back to say, I can't believe it. The cancer is gone in one of the lungs and now the other lung is operable. He went on to have the operation to survive and have quality time with his family. There isn't a single saint in the Catholic Church that doesn't believe that Jesus is truly there that the bread and wine at Mass is transformed into body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. Not a single saint who doesn't believe that that's Jesus. That's, that's Jesus. You know, it's a bit like this. Imagine this. If the sun was in the room that you're in right now, the sun, would any of you be able to survive? No, because of its light and its heat and its warmth. Yet scripture tells us that all the elements are subject to Christ. So the sun is no way near as powerful as Christ in his light, in his radiance, in his magnificence. And so the saints say, because Jesus loves us, because he loves us and he recognizes our limitless and he, and he recognizes our, our, our frailty, he conceals himself in the form of bread so that he can come so intimately into our hearts and souls at mass. Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta said, all my strength comes from one source, Jesus in the Eucharist. There's a true story about St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta that during the Civil War in Beirut, her and her sisters wanted to rescue children with special needs that were in a hospital right in the middle of the city. So they went to the government and said, listen, let me and my sisters go in and save them. They said, sister, there's shell fire, there's bombs being dropped, the war is raging, it's not safe, you're not going in there. He said, but please, we don't mind risking our life. He said, sister, you ain't going in there. She said, but what about if me and my sisters pray tonight? And tomorrow morning, there's a ceasefire. Can we go and get the children then? Sister, there will not be a ceasefire. This war is raging. But if we pray, and there is, okay, but there won't be one. That night, St. Mother Teresa and all her sisters gathered in the chapel and they prayed in front of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Yeah, 
the hosts that had been consecrated at Mass into Christ's body, blood, soul, and divinity, which was in a, a, a monstrance, uh, Latin for throne. And so Jesus was there all night in the chapel and they implored his mercy. They glorified him and worshipped him and prayed to him. The following morning, there was a ceasefire. Mother Teresa went in with her sisters and rescued the children. What's the best reason to go to Mass? Because there's an invitation for you to have an encounter with God who wants to change and impact the world through you. But only if you RSVP. Here are the questions.